the first thing I want you to do is you don't need the perfect putter thing, but because especially too, because this is not a it's not a promoted video or anything. I don't even have a promo code to offer on this thing, but it is very satisfying to stand here and just make a thousand putts in a row like this and then try to make it from like right close to it. It just shows you like, hey, it's gonna go in every time. I'm looking all the way up and down this line. And eye discipline means don't, most people will go like this. They'll look at the line and then look over here. And then their eyes will dart over here. And there you go. No, you gotta be really quiet eye. Hey guys, a bit of a putting video today. I wanted to talk a little bit about that video that you've seen on the channel before about, let me get this so it's a totally straight putt. So that you, you've seen about with, uh, that I did with Mike Malaska, I actually did it twice. About the biggest secret in putting being your eye line and what your eyes see really matching how you set up. So if you set up a certain way, so say like this is your head, you have to find the spot where you can set up so that this putt, which is straight, it's totally straight, I'll show you. This is the perfect putter here. So when it's set on there in that track, it's a perfectly straight putt. And here I've got this one set up to be a perfectly straight putt too. So that the speed was a little low, so it didn't go right in the middle of the hole, but at a little faster speed, you'll see. I can put a thousand balls down this track from that spot. And as long as the grass doesn't grow too much, it'll go in every time. So, so you can set this thing up and then get over that. But what you gotta do is, so I know for sure that this plate is an absolutely straight, straight, straight putt. And you don't need the perfect putter ramp to, to do it, but it does help. So, but then, so the first part you gotta really get used to. Seeing that, that line and getting used to like, knowing like, hey, that's straight. Because when I stand over this putt, with my eyes like basically over the ball or even just a little inside it looks like this is going to go left to me i usually block putts to the right so i've got to stand over it and either one feel like i pull putts a little bit to make it go straight in or two better get my head into such a position that the putt looks straight to me the line looks straight right now from right over the ball that looks like this putt is going to miss a little left of the hole. But if I drop my eyes a little bit down the line, just a little bit more down, like rather than being over here, drop it down the line a little bit and a little bit inside, that putt starts to look really, really straight. And what, when it looks really straight, and it is really straight, that's when the feel and the reel match up really nicely and you can start to stroke some really good putts. So the next part about, of this that is more than anything, I think missing short putts is the thing that hurts people the most. So the next part of this I wanted to talk about is eye discipline. So just look at my eyes. And when, I, when you're looking at the line, especially on short putts, so here I got two different three foot putts, but difficult ones, breakers. So this is, you know, the break, is, here's a straight putt. So that's on either side of the break completely. So two different breaker putts. And I'm going to do this bow tie thing where you put two balls up here, three feet, and then two balls on the other side, rather than like doing like a four corners thing where you have the downhill, the uphill, two sides, do the bow tie thing. I think that you'll get better use out of your time. But when you're standing over there, you have to be super disciplined about where your eyes look. Once you've decided the line, and you kind of do that behind the ball, you know, where you've decided the line. Once you're over the ball, don't look, don't just look ball, hole, ball, hole, ball, hole. You gotta look ball, and then all the way up the line, and all the way down the line, to the ball and to the cup, back and forth. And see, because your putt, to make a putt, you've gotta make like, thousand putts along the way before it goes into the cup and if it gets off of that path just like you know when we see the aim point thing on tv it's it's uh your chances get really small of getting into that final cup so you set up these four balls like one two three four not north south east west i don't like that as much as get the most break on either side and split split apart two putts kind of so it kind of looks like a bow tie the pattern you're going to get and then when you're over it, you gotta be really, you pick your spot back here. 
Then when you're over it, you got to be really disciplined about looking up and down the line and not getting dis distracted off of that. The other thing is too, like the front door to a putt is not a straight line from wherever you are to where the putt is, because this would actually not be the front door. Because it breaks from right to left, the front door would be over here. So all the way from there to there, this is the real entrance to this putt as it's coming there. So make sure that you're trying to get this ball into the front door of the putt. Don't really think left edge, right edge, just think it's going to go here and then it's going to come in and fall in on the front door. So here too. Hide one. Yeah. Good one. Now I want to take the phone and see if this will work. I think it will if I get on, since it's on the wide angle. I want you to, as I'm going to hit this putt, which is a tough putt, I'm going to put the phone down on the ground. I want you to watch my eyes. And this is what I want you to think of. When you're here and you're over these short putts, there's two things I think you should think about. Eye discipline, because you've already chose the, the line that it's gonna go. So you're gonna think eye discipline, and then think hit it in the center, center, center of the putter. That seems to make the most putts. So I'm gonna put this into the front door here. I've already picked out my line, and now I'm watch my eyes. And I can't let it get distracted. I'm going to go right there. And then a couple of practice strokes to get into a flow. And then into the cup. You're making like a thousand putts along the way. Same thing here. So that went in. Making like a thousand putts along the way. I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, it's hard enough to make one putt. Now I got to make a thousand. It's actually easier to make a thousand than it is just to make a single putt. So I'm here. I got my line picked out already, like I'm picking a little spot. On the plate, I calibrated where I have to stand to make the putt look straight. So I got to stand a little down the line, a little, I would say a little bit more than a little inside, quite a bit inside to what would be standard. And then once you're over here, once you're over the putt, you got to be really disciplined with where your eyes are looking. Yep, there. I want to get a little more meat on the putter. All right, perfect. The first thing I want you to do is you don't need the perfect putter thing, but especially too, because this is not a it's not a promoted video or anything. I don't even have a promo code to offer on this thing, but it is very satisfying to stand here and just make a thousand putts in a row like this and then try to make it from like right close to it. It just shows you like, hey, it's gonna go in every time. So then once you know, like here, I know for sure. Watch, see those, those little nodules in there? If I put this in those nodules there and I might've just bumped it a little bit already. But if I put this in there and put it down the ramp, it's gonna make that every time. So then I gotta carefully, carefully take that off. All right, so I know for sure that this plate is perfectly lined up with that cup. It's not breaking into it or anything. It's going straight into the cup. But if I stand with my eyes right over it, like we talked about, to me, that looks like this line would pull the putt to me. So I gotta get my eyes into a spot, which is actually a little bit, I gotta pull my eyes in this way and a little bit more down the line this way. That's starting to look, now that looks super straight to me. That's what I have to do. And sometimes actually you have to tilt your head one way or the other to get it looking totally straight. But then once you have, once you know that's straight, you can start to feel with like, okay, what can I do to make this really consistent for me? I have to get feeling like my, you have to pick some like calibration points. I have to feel like my left eye bisects this line that's right there. Like that's coming up and going right through my left eye. And then I have to feel like I'm inside the ball with my feet should feel just a little open. That helps me get through it nicely. Then the final thing is very important that we, I talked about before, but I can show it better from this view 
you have to get your eyes tracking once so once you've, you're standing back here you've chose you chose your line like okay that's my line i like that a lot to make this putt right there right there so then you go in and i see that spot and i see the hole and i'm kind of I, I like to align the face first and then i build my stance and then i'm looking all the way up and down this line and eye discipline means don't most people will go like this the look the line and then the look over here and then the eyes will dart over here and there you go no you got to be really quiet eye focused up and down this line here like that and then you can stroke it and make it and i'll do it one-handed to try to finish in anything one-handed is always got to be right hand but then the other thing i noticed too is i have to get more meat on the club so i call it feet and meat because i was a little bit like you would see some gaps in my grip i have to actually hold it just a little tighter but actually make sure that there's more hand on the putter grip from there i gotta stop there and we're just gonna go through the putt into the hole all right guys thanks for watching really appreciate that if you want to see the video that i was talking about i'll link it here click the subscribe button it really helps the channel see you later bye